What is going on? What is going on? What is going what on? on? <laughs> Today, we're going to be doing a special thing. We haven't done this, but we needed to do it. We're doing the Goat Minnow Review. This is one of the most OG Danikin fishing baits that we use on this channel. We catch everything on it, right? So we want you guys to catch everything. And we're going to show you guys how to use it and a little, like, tutorial. It's so easy, but we want to show our viewers, you know? Especially your beginners. It's a great beginning bait. So, yeah, yeah. what else? Where are we? Oh, right. Uh, where are we? Yeah, we are, we're at Akatin Creek and Akatin Lake. Over there is a lake right here, and this is the train castle over here. We're not going to climb on top because that's illegal. See that right there? Yeah, we don't <laughs> want to climb on that. All right. Uh, wait. Uh. Let's go! Yeah. Yay! So, we're going to fish the creek to this side right there, and we're going to also go maybe a little bit over there. And then we're going to move down and try to see what we can catch. But first, we're going to show you a little bit about the gulp minnow and a little stuff about it. Alright guys, we got a fresh new pack of the gulp minnows. Melt color. And yeah, fresh new pack, so we're going to open this thing. So first when you open it, there's a ton of juice, so there's a uh, opening thing. So you just to keep the freshness inside. Yeah, and you you'll need see the why. juice because they'll they'll dry out if you don't. Look at that. This is this is the OG. So the thing with the juice is that don't dump it out because, like Daniel said, it's gonna the baits are gonna dry, but also the fish love the scent. Yeah. So this is really sometimes helpful. I dump out a little bit of it. Oh yeah. Just like that's true. Because it's like a lot. And also, guys, if you guys could invest in a better container, the containers are really bad. That's the only bad thing I'd say about the bait. Yeah, if they leak because in your they bag, leak. your bag is done. All right, so we're going to show you how to rig this thing. Ooh, yeah. All you need for this size of gold minnow is a little 164-ounce trout magnet jig head. And you take your gulp alive minnow. Here it is. You thread it through. And yeah, you just basically do that. You just thread it on, and boom. Just like that. Easy. And it's easy to thread on and off, and don't worry about like, if the goat minnow is beaten up, you guys have so much in this little container. Yeah, there are quite a few. Yeah, but this is oh, about $5, no, $5.99 at Dick's Sporting Goods. You can get it way cheaper at Walmart though, probably, like $2 oh, yeah, yeah. cheaper. I Berkeley goat minnow, one inch, smelt color. There's also emerald shiner, which is see if I can get one first. So, yeah. Yes, oh my god. Daniel's first cast. I love the gum now. Oh, wait. You got a bite? Oh shoot, this thing is kind of weird. Oh. Oh, he had one. Had a bite. But yeah, we, I want Anakin to get fishing, so we're going to put the camera down for right now, and yeah. Yeah, alright. Got the GoPros, so. Let's go. Alright, guys. They're now fishing with the goat minnow. So, you guys might be wondering how to fish this thing. And basically, it's kind of like, oh what? Oh, the oh sorry, my bad. No, no, what, what are you saying? Oh, I got one. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one and a kid. Oh, shoot, I think he swallowed this thing. Oh, wait, no, no, no. But yeah, guys, they chomped this thing. Look at this, check this out. Oh my God, dude, down. Just, okay, do we have pliers? And parkour to get into spots. You know how it is. Sometimes you gotta work to get to the spots. But so down here is like the creek. That was like the dam or like the little pool. I'll oh, check this out. Ready? I'm calling it this cast. This cast. Fish. Oh. Oh, I got one. Oh, and a kit. Crappie. Alright guys, got a crappie. I haven't caught a crappie in a long time. These fish are so cool. Usually, I, this is like my first time catching a crappie, not at our lake next to our house. Alright guys, crappie. I haven't caught a crappie in a long time. The only place I've caught a crappie is at the lake next to our house. So, this is cool to catch a crappie in another spot. Alright, see you bud. But yeah, how you fish the bait, you really don't need to do anything except like drop it. 
the scent will attract the fish, but you can give it a little bit of like some jigs and stuff. That's what I like. Jig it up and down, let it sing, jig it up and down. And just kind of move it a little bit. Reel it in a bit. Yeah, I was like, reel it in. Oh, got a good, oh, got a good fish. Oh, another species, bluegill. Three. Okay guys, species number three. I got a picture. Got a bluegill. And he didn't swallow it this time, which is good. Oh my God, this guy is aggressive. The bites are super aggressive on this, um, on the gut minnow, I feel like. Oh, buddy. Oh, okay, he's gone. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got the smallest green sunfish ever. Guys, you can catch small fish, you can catch big fish. Look at this. Super beautiful green sunfish. Second greenie of the day for me. There he is. Nice little green sunfish. Back. But yeah, the gull minnow is a ton of fun. Works super well. Yeah, I love the gull minnow. This is the OG. This is great. This is a good idea, Anakin. You had a good idea. Oh, I got one. Got a good fish. Oh, wait. Oh, is this a pumpkin seed? I think it's a green selfish. Just nice colors. Nice colors. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it, oh, it's no. kind of confusing. All right, guys. We got. It might be a hybrid too. Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna cast. Yeah, yeah. Go. Yeah. Got a nice looking fish right here. Probably has some roots of a green sunfish. Move it down really quick. Or did this hole? Let's see if we can get anything in this little spillway. So the trick is, there's two holes pumping out water, and right here, there's a little eddy where there's no current. There is where the fish are gonna be. Oh, I just got my minnow taken. My minnow has just got taken. The only like con I have with this bait really is that it's a little messy with all the juice, but honestly, that's not really like, that's just the like littlest thing. I love the bait. What, nothing? Come on. I know something's in here. Oh, got something. Oh, there we go. Well, it's kinda. Oh. All right, guys, we think it's a bluegill pumpkin seed hybrid. There's a lot of hybrids here because there's a lot of fish here. Yeah, I'm going back to that hole. That hole kind of looks cool. I would be surprised if I can get the bath out of there. <laughs> yeah. I hope you do. This hit was pretty strong, so I thought it, was, thought it was something bigger. And sometimes, if your minnow's getting destroyed like this, the trick is just rig it the other way. So rig it through the white side. And then, boom, new, good as new. Hope we got the train coming. A lot of bites. Got him. Got him. Oh, red breast. Yeah, species number four of the day. Little red breast sunfish. They're called red breast because, look, like, look, they have a red breast. Beautiful fish. Boop, boop, boop. All right, see you, buddy. Oh, oh, I got a good. Catfish! Anakin, catfish! Catfish, get the camera! Dude! Catfish! Five species! Guys, the gulp minnow catches everything. I thought it was a bass. Guys, the gulp minnow catches everything. Oh, that's a great hookup, too. Yeah. Was, okay. Okay, guys, so we caught a bullhead. It's, I believe, a yellow bullhead. The barbels maybe show it. Oh, shoot. Let me see if I can hold this thing. This guy is. Daniel caught the fifth species of the day. The 
yellow bullhead catfish. So this thing literally oh, catches everything. Yeah, spikes right there, but little bullhead on the goat minnow. I'll let him have the snack. <laughs> I'll, let him, I'll let him have the snack. All right. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's take a picture of this dude. Oh, and we're gonna let him go. There he goes. Dude, that's awesome. Good. Nice. One species I, for six minutes. Like this catches everything. Yeah, they catch, catch everything. everything. And like from catfish, you know, like people think that catfish eat like live bait. They eat goat minnows, which is pretty cool. Uh, goat so. minnows? Yeah. No other bait would do that. Yeah, for sure. Get yourself some goat minnows, I'm telling you. For beginners, it's great. We're gonna get more fishing and see what other species and quantity we can catch, and I'll see you soon. I'm telling you guys, get yourself some goat minnows. Oh, that guy took off. Saw my line just dart. Little greeny? Yeah, greeny. Boop. Oh, I got a good. Oh, I got a nice. I got a chunky bluegill, dude. Okay, guys, I just caught a monster. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my God, guys, 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 guys. Shoot, shoot. Look at this bluegill. Beautiful bluegill. All right, we're gonna let him go. This is a male, the darker colors. This is a big fat male. Oh my God, that was a big chunky bunky. Oh, got one. Oh, a little fighter. A little fighter, a little bluegill. Lepomius macrocotus. That's on, I'm on, I'm on. Come on, let's get him. Get him up here, get up here. Little bluegill. It's not too expensive. Oh, uh, there's another fish. It's not too, oh, there we got the train coming. It's not too expensive, because they give you a ton of them in one package. And you can catch multiple fish, like, this is my third fish on this goat minnow. You can get multiple fish. And even if it starts ripping, the goat minnow is a great bait, not just for creeks, man. We are just here. You can use this thing anywhere. If you're having a tough day trying to catch fish, if you cannot catch fish, use it. All right, guys, what do we think about the goat minnow? And we've been using this bait. This is probably the first bait we actually like got into fishing with, or the creek fishing at least. Yeah, d definitely a We used to not be the best at freshwater fishing. We were kind of gods at salt water, but we didn't know how to fish freshwater. And we watched Leo Shang and his extreme Philly fishing YouTube channel. And one of the baits that he like loves is this one, the Berkeley Gold Minnow. So we decided to try it out and it is genius. It is magic in a bottle, like literal magic. If you need bait fish, if you're looking for multi-species, this is the best thing you yeah. use. Multi-species in creek fishing is insane. Yeah, but, I mean, look what we caught. Yeah, I mean, like catfish and like crappie. Crappie is a good bit because of the mineral presentation, but that scent is mainly what it, that's why the pink worm works so well, because of the scent. The scent just attracts the fish from nowhere. They're like, if you cast it to a pile of no fish, like tons of fish will just swarm it. Because exactly, yeah. Because of its scent. For the pros, it's relatively cheap. Like you get, you get a crap ton of fish with just this bottle, right? Yeah, you can catch yeah. multiple on one cult minnow. Exactly, like we've, we've caught like sometimes 10 fish on one minnow. And there's yeah. like 60, no, not 60, like 30 maybe in here. And so yeah, it really adds up. There's a lot of fish. Right. Even, Another pro I think is just the scent in general. The scent is probably the strongest feature, strongest feature because it's so good. It, it just tracks fish. However, one con about that is that it is really smelly and it's gonna make you literally, literally smell worse than a fish. It's a little so, messy because yeah. the juice is like to the top of the can. So what I recommend is just pouring out a little juice, but you still need the juice because it keeps the bait fresh. If you leave a bait out of the thing, out of the jar, it will dry out and it will dry out completely and it won't be usable. Yeah, exactly. Like I've had them dry out on my uh, trout magnet hooks and they've just I try to take them off and the trout magnet hook breaks, so they get really hard. <laughs> yeah, so the reason why it's so messy is that the cap is not very tight on the actual box. Just recommend like putting yeah, it, it in does a plastic leak, though. bag. <laughs> I recommend putting it in a plastic bag if you're going to put it in like your backpack because just in case you don't want it, your whole backpack to smell like goat minnow. So yeah, you kind of have to get your hands dirty, you have to like put them in the juice to take one out. But like that's not really like, who cares, if you're fishing you're going to get dirty anyway. Exactly, yeah. Definitely recommend this bait. If there's any bait we recommend like the most, or like yeah. one of the highest baits you recommend, it is this one right here. Overall, we would probably rate it, what would you say? 8 or 9 out of 10. Eight, yeah, 8 or 9 out of 10. 
The only reason it's not 10 out of 10 is because it, uh, the cap's kind of, the, the little bottle could be designed a little bit better. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope you guys learned something, and we highly encourage you guys to get the bait yourself and really try it out. I mean, it's, it's perfect. It's cheap. And like all you need is trout magnet jig heads and you're set. As that we are is. grinding for you, it's really hot outside. It's 95 like degrees. degrees. Yeah. Think of where to get it and what like directions how to use it and stuff will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Tight lines. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you want more bait reviews, if you want more rod reviews, if you want anything, any reviews or any suggestions in general, please feel free to contact us. Or say if something you, in the comments. You guys are the best. We hope to see you in the next video. Yeah.